Welcome back to Remember This Tech. Now listen, if you haven't been living under a rock, you've noticed that the DDR5 RAM prices are insane right now. So if you're considering a new build and you're thinking, well, you're out of the market, you can always think about a DDR4 build, even though they're getting scarcer. The prices are more manageable for DDR4 bundle um, 16 gig kits now, or even 32. Now they don't really make them a lot anymore, but they're still available. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing an unboxing of a motherboard that features DDR4 support. Um, it is an Intel socket ILGA 1700 board. This is an ASUS motherboard. It is the B760M AYW Wi-Fi DDR4 version two. I'm gonna do the unboxing over a lot of the features and specs and it supports uh, the box supposedly Intel CPUs featuring 12th, 13th and 14th gen CPUs. Whether or not this might be for you, it'll still allow you to build a really modern system on the first 14th gen Intel CPU and i5, i7, i3 even, uh, room for upgradability. So let's get right into the unboxing and show you some of the features. And I'll put the link in the description section below for this motherboard in case you're interested and want to check it out because it helps me out. So without further ado, let's get right into the unboxing, shall we? Come on, let's go! Right off the bat, first things that really strike me for this standouts for this board is that it supports PCI Express 5.0 x16 support. Uh, it comes with a 2.5 gigabit Realtek Ethernet. And, you know... Sometimes you only find those on premium boards. Stay tuned to the end and I'll tell you what I paid for it and whether I think it's a great deal or not. Comes with Wi-Fi 6 on the system. Again, this motherboard with these two things, these three things, top notch, right? And again, it goes over the CPU support, LGA 12, uh, 1700, 14th, 13th gen processors and Intel Core 12th gen Pentium Gold and Celeron processors. This is based on the B760 chipset and it has two DIMM slots DDR4 non-ECC. That's a light downfall, you know, but you're at this price point, what can you expect? It has two M.2 slots and they're both PCI Express 4.0 X4 mode if you're using both. Bluetooth and wireless Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.3. Uh, micro ATX form factor. It's a smaller board for smaller cases. It's got one HDMI port out if your graph if your CPU supports uh, onboard IGPU. One PCI Express 5.0 X16 slot and one PCI Express 4.0 X1 slot. In the back panel, you got four USB 5 gigabits per second ports. Uh, four 2.A, I mean and two USB 2.0 ports, one HDMI, Wi-Fi module, Realtek 2.5 gig. You wanna see what the board looks like. Yes, I know, we're gonna crack this open and pull it out and see what's in the box and do that right now. Wi-Fi antenna, it's kinda of like a triangle design mount. Hmm, I like the way they do that, I suppose. I'm gonna go and see what underneath what's underneath here just to get it out of the way. You got a manual. Where where do you see a, a motherboard manual nowadays? Well, it's getting very rare, and this one happens to have one. Quick start guide, how to install um, peripherals, CPU fan, uh, thermal paste, connectors. This is a good thing, especially if you're new to PC building. This is gold, and I know you might say, oh, you can go online. Well, this is handy. I mean, I love that they include this in this feature-packed value board. I call it feature-packed, it is, but it's also value-priced. Two SATA connectors, backplate, and two M.2 standoffs, and it looks like just one screw. Nice. 
to me they put a lot of stuff in here for the price and also let's get into the motherboard I know I went over a lot of specs but I want to show you it the reveal This looks pretty cool. As I said previously about the different specs, but I didn't mention that this is slightly reinforced. PCI Express 16 slot 5.0. And here is your M.2 for the first one, first one up here and the second one down here. I mean, think about everything I just said about this board. PCI Express 5.0, two M.2s, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. I mean, yes, this is a downfall. Yes, you only have two DDR4 slots. But you can make it work. You got four SATA ports here. You got an uh, AIO header here, uh, ARGB headers. You've got your USB 3.0. Got some chipset heatsink here. And you have your 8-pin power connector that's hiding under here and then your 24 pin right here and I like the aesthetic of this board too motherboard here back plate has to go in here and slot in here this is kind of open but this is a decent size heatsink here and they kind of incorporate it into the plastic back plate trout right like that again two USB 2.0 HDMI for USB uh, 3.0, the 2.5 gig NIC. Here's your wireless Bluetooth and your um, microphone headset and audio out jacks. Not bad. Here's the back. And you got some um, uh, motherboard um, RGB uh, LED lighting on here as well, if you didn't notice it prior. Now, my final thoughts. This motherboard is feature packed. It's feature rich. Yes, I pointed out the two dim banks, and that's all it has for DDR4. And you may consider, oh, it's not DDR5. Go ahead, pay hundreds of dollars more for a set of DDR5 that you may or may not even notice a couple FPS difference in different games. Go ahead. For me, I, you could still run the latest, four, well, last gen, 14th gen i5. Like if you buy a higher end i5, you're still gonna get, uh, you know, like six uh, P cores and you get up to 20 cores total, depending on what model you get. I'm not gonna go into it, but you get where I'm going. I mean, where are you gonna find a board for this price when I paid $89? Actually, I paid less, but I had a new egg combo deal with the CPU and then a motherboard, and it took $28 off the top of the price. I mean, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth, 2.5 gig Ethernet. It's pretty amazing, right? And if you shop around, use DDR4, you might be able to get a set for 40 bucks, 50 bucks, 60 bucks for 16, maybe even 100 bucks, 90 bucks for 32 gig. And this board will take that fine and you'll be happy even with 16 gig. I'll put a link to this motherboard in case you're interested in the description section below. Check it out. And if you want to see this and more content like this and me testing this with a 14th gen CPU with a top end video card or at least a newer one, you might want to consider subscribing and give a thumbs up if you found this content helpful because it doesn't really cost you anything and it helps me out. So thanks for coming along with me on this surprising but feature packed motherboard unboxing. And thanks for watching. Remember this tech.